Hello! It's November 2018 and I am on a bus in Italy. But I'm about to be on a bus not in Italy. Because we're about to cross the border into one of the smallest, oldest and strangest countries on the planet. Welcome to San Marino. Well, here we are. For five euros, you can catch the bus from Rimini Station on Italy's Adriatic coast and travel through San Marino before arriving here, in San Marino. Yeah, I should explain. This is the city of San Marino, which is the capital city of the country of San Marino. The country of San Marino is divided into nine regions called Castelli, and the city of San Marino can be found in the Castello of, wait for it, San Marino. As a result, my weather app shows my current location as San Marino, San Marino, San Marino. And basic mathematics will tell you that means this place is one and a half times as good as New York. Perhaps even more impressively, San Marino claims to be the oldest existing country in the world. This may come as a surprise to the Chinese, Greeks and Egyptians, but the point is that San Marino has never invaded anyone or been invaded. Possibly because the armies couldn't see where they were going but also because of the fearsome fortifications built at its highest point. Wait a minute, highest point? You know what I'm like with highest points. By the time I finish Googling, it's half four in the afternoon and it's already getting dark. But I'm ready for the challenge of conquering Monte Titano, which translates into English as Mount Titan. It sounds like a daunting task, but conveniently, that's the same mountain that the city of San Marino is built on. So in fact, we're nearly at the top already. The mountain has provided a natural defence ever since the country was founded, way back in 301 AD. There are three peaks which were fortified in the 11th, 13th and 14th centuries respectively. Perching dramatically right on the clifftop, these towers were almost impossible to attack. And all in all, San Marino has seen 1,700 years of independence and peace apart from a couple of occupations that lasted no more than a few months, and that one time the British bombed the place by mistake. Anyway, by all accounts, the highest point of San Marino is at the second fortification. But weirdly, when you click on these coordinates, it takes you to a conference centre car park. So I'm going there first, just in case. And here we are, the highest point in San Marino. Except, well, this road is still going uphill, which is strange because one thing I've noticed about mountains is that if you can keep going uphill, then you're probably not at the top yet. I wonder what these signs say. Salita al Montale, way up to the mountain. Towers this way. Right then, I reckon we should follow this path into the dark and creepy forest. But don't worry, I'm not going to make this video any more dramatic than it needs to be. Or am I? on a November night and 
You can sort of see some of the towns down there. Sort of just see the lights poking through the mist. There's no one else around at all. Okay, that was the weirdest thing. <laughs> Hearing a cat mewing with this going on. Although he'd nearly spooked my trousers off, it turns out that all my creepy friend actually wanted was a tummy rub. Incidentally, in France the word gâteau means cake, but in Italy it means cat. Always check which country you're in before you order dessert. Sadly, after a while I had to leave my new feline friend behind because I hadn't reached the end of my adventure yet. I knew it wasn't until I got to the second tower that I would have conquered the highest point of San Marino. And my quest would not be over until I found it. Oh, here it is. Well, at least this one can't be as creepy as the first one was. Or can it? I wonder what's through here. It turns out I've found the entrance to the second tower, and up there is the highest point in San Marino, with the national flag flying proudly on top. Right now, it's very closed and very deserted. I guess this means I'm not going to make it to the top. Or am I? Because let's face it, the tower is man-made. And for me, what really counts is climbing the highest natural point of the mountain. And that is something I can do. Now it was time to get off the mountain and hope there wouldn't be any more creepy stuff. Okay. What is that? Why is there an empty birdcage? And a bicycle floating halfway up a wall? Okay, I'm just going to go back down to the car park as quickly as I can. I'm sure the car park can't be creepy. 